Really quickly, I just wanted to show you, uh, we had a few questions yesterday after the ringtone uh, video, so I just wanted to show you a bit more about the standard sort of features you'd expect from a phone, and that's uh, being able to call people, being able to text people. So, as you can see, if I tap right at the top here, we get some little things drop down. I've got the HSDPA connection, thanks O2. Um, that have got Wi-Fi, that's greyed out, sort of grey sort of symbol there, so we can tell that we don't have Wi-Fi at the minute. And we've got uh, the battery meter there that pops down. It doesn't show as defaults on the main screen, so you don't know how your battery's doing um, unless you tap that. Uh, also, we've got the, the calling screen here. Now, you can see some numbers I've uh, kind of dialed just to test it out. Uh, these are random numbers. We can press down the bottom right here, and we go into the People Hub. And we can search for people, or we can scroll up and down and find them. We can press the Search button here. We can add people in, and we can just start typing in people's names and we can sort of find the person we want. It's hooked into Google, Exchange, whatever you've got, uh, it hooks into. Now I was kind of surprised, although the caller, uh, the calling pad, keypad is very quick indeed and very responsive, I was kind of surprised. Uh, I know somebody called Ant, for example, and on most phones I would type in a N T, which is uh, A is number two, A N is number six, and T is number six eight. It doesn't actually um, find Ant out of the um, contacts list, out of the people hub, which is a bit surprising. The other button uh, on the bottom, uh, voicemail, you can dial that from there, and that I'm sort of calling somebody at the top. So if I do go back to my main screen and I'm in the middle of a sort of phone call, it shows me here on the top that that's happening, and you can end the call, you can type in numbers, activate the keypad if you need to go through any uh, IVR systems on the phone, uh, and you can sort of press these little um, buttons here on the left to call that person again, or you sort of press and you can text or choose some other function on there. So I'll just show you texting as well messaging here, you can see a message that I've received, it will thread everything into conversations, I can create a new text message here, I just type in the person's name, hooks into your people's hub again, and we can type out the message from the on-screen keyboard here, we can go hello, and we can see the automated um, dictionary here, guessing what words we want, if I accidentally type in the word there incorrectly, It'll change it, so you can see I've typed in Y here, and it's changed it to there. If I press space, it'll do a little double tap sound, and it'll correct that for me. We can also add in media down here. We click that, it goes into our um, pictures, camera roll, and I can sort of uh, take a picture there. And if I press in the three dots at the bottom, we can get into extra functionality uh, in the previous screen like uh, delivery notifications and stuff like that if you wish to have that added on and the SMS center number so there's not an, a huge amount of um, settings sort of bombarding you uh, the calendar feature is here shows you what you've got coming on in the next few days we haven't got a weekly view but we've got an agenda view we've got a day view we've got um, sort of details on each calendar appointment we can edit or delete them from that interface We've got um, the settings, we showed you the ringtones yesterday, and the themes, we can change the background from light to dark, we can change those accent colours that you saw, that's why everything, see, every link is like light blue, we can change that if you wish, change the Wi-Fi flight mode, uh, Bluetooth on or off, email accounts that we've got, the location on or off, mobile network, date and time, the brightness of the screen, the uh, sort of um, find my phone feature and you can find a bit more information about the handset itself sort of the 16 gigs of onboard storage and the OS version etc so that really is what I wanted to cover in this quick video and uh, keep with us for more